Hi, and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to paint this this fella the uh, hex wraith a fantastic mini I really really love it and uh, yeah well let's get to it the first thing that's going to be you have to do is to give the the entire mini a base coat a white base coat and uh, so let's get to it so the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to paint all the bone on the on the horse and the rider with the silica gray, and I'm using a big base brush for this. And you don't have to be very tidy, neat with this careful I don't know what the English word is but um, it's um, it's a very it's a very it's a, one of the base colors and since you haven't painted any I haven't painted anything else I don't need to worry about the edges and stuff like that so kind of what I'm doing is I'm just you know splashing the paint on like this No, no need to be very precise here. Yeah. And the foot is oh, the rider needs to be glued probably on, but I'll do this off camera. There's no need for you to see the that part. But um, I'll just paint all the um, all this skeletal part, and I'll come back once it's done. See you in a minute. So all the bone has been given roughly two layers of silica gray and as you can see I haven't been very neat. And the next thing is that the rope on the horse and the rope on the rider I will paint it with uh, in Kubi darkness and I will also give it two layers of paint and uh, you don't have to be very very tidy. I would, mm, I would maybe have primed this with black, but I'm out of black, so I, I had to use the white one, and I can almost always recommend two layers of paint. But um, again, I will just paint this up, and again, you don't have to be very neat around all the small flames. We're going to touch them later just make sure that that you don't paint on the bone I will I might have to switch to a finer brush when I'm close to the uh, bone edge and um, be sure to have a very um, subtle layer where you cannot see the, um, the primer underneath so two layers at least and uh, two thin layers and I'll be back once I have painted it. So, as you can see, I have painted the horse with all the cloth with Incubi Darkness, and I have painted the bone with Celeste Grey. Now I'm going to do all the metals, and all the metal will be done with Lead Belcher to create the base of the um, of the metal and uh, it's I do need to be a bit careful not when I am close to a border up to the for example the incubi darkness then 
be careful not to paint into the incubi darkness but since it is the the first layer you could always fix um, the paint if you get to this but uh, I'm just going to paint all the metal and when you're painting in areas where you haven't painted before then there's really no need to be as careful uh, it doesn't matter if you paint uh, on something else but metal but because we can always touch it up but I'm gonna continue painting all the metals with the um, dead belcher being the horse uh, metal uh, armor the uh, helmet on the guy the chains etc and I'll come back once it is done so the uh, metal has been painted with lead belcher the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint all the leather being the uh, the satchel and the uh, the leather straps up here. I'm going to paint them with dried bark and um, and I think that I'm going to give the I cannot find the color. Nevertheless, I'm just going to start with uh, painting the leather with the the dried bark. Um, it's a fairly easy process. Um, and again, if you when you paint, accidentally paint on the green, uh, the uh, Incubi Darkness green, then you can just fix it with the Incubi Darkness because we haven't give it any, given it any other colors than that. So, uh, dry back on the satchel, the belt, and the strap underneath his arm, and the leather straps on the horse. I'll be back once it's done. So I finished the leather straps, the satchel, uh, as you can see, I don't know how clear it is, but also the leather straps around here under his arms. And I'm going to paint the wood on the staff of his weapon. I'm going to paint it with Steel Legion Drap. And it's a fairly simple thing, there's no, nothing really to be cautious about so I'll just paint this up and I'll come back once it's done so the weapon has been painted with with, um, with the uh, steel legion wrap sorry and now all the flames on the miniature has been has to be painted white um, all the frames on the helmet, on the cloth, the weapon, etc. And the fling skulls down here. Everything must be just kind of just kind of uh, painted up with uh, with a, a white and you. It's very important that this white will be very uh, pure white. Again, if you paint on the um, on the incubi darkness, then you can always touch it up, clean it up. And as you can see, I've just painted a bit on the cloth, but I'm going to clean it up in a second. But anyways, there's a lot of 
a lot of fire to paint up with white and I'm going to give it two layers and I will come back once it's done so I'm done with painting all the white on all the frames that we're going to paint at a later stage the first thing that I'm going to do now is I'm going to give all the bone that has been painted little grey with this uh, technical paint Nihilak 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 Whatever oxide And um, Yeah uh, I'm going to apply it on all the uh, silica grey And I'm going to use the Shade brush This And I'm going to apply it in a, in a layer like this. And I have to say that uh, when painting this, uh, it's very important that um, you don't stop while painting because otherwise, when you continue, the paint will, will clutter. So, yeah, like this. This is the way I'm going to paint all the silica gray, all the bone areas. So I will do this and come back once it's done. So all the uh, bone, the silica grey has been has now been painted with the uh, nihilac oxide, and um, I will put this miniature aside and I will let it dry for I don't know an hour, and I will think I will make this a part one, and then I will continue with it in um, part two. So see you in part two.